Hi, and welcome back to the Grow Taller Guru YouTube channel. Before we go any further, can I ask that you please subscribe and like this video as it really helps me out as a content creator. And if you do happen to lose this video, it will be easily traceable later on. And today's video, growth plates. And as you can tell, I've put a little sad face there because whenever growth plates are mentioned, it tends to bring up a lot of sorrow, People tend to give up on their hopes and dreams of growing taller just because a doctor has taken an x-ray of their wrist and has told them that it's not physically possible to grow taller. So today's question is, can I grow taller if my growth plates are closed? The 2019 update. In this video, I'm going to share with you why getting an x-ray in your wrist is actually a terrible predictor of whether you're done growing or not. For many people, getting an x-ray in their wrist is the 100% legitimate way of proving that they are done growing. However, after researching this in depth, I have realized that this is just an easy way for doctors to move on to the next patient. Doctors don't care about your hopes and dreams. Think about it for a second. If you were a doctor and somebody came to you and said, Doctor, I think I'm done growing, but can you confirm this? Is there any way I can grow taller? Doctors know that there are so many different variables in growing taller that it's going to be impossible to predict everyone's height. So, an easy way to get out of this and an easy way to overcome this and make their life easier is to do an x-ray of the wrist and by confirming that the growth plate in the wrist is closed, they can then close the case and move on to the next patient. From researching this topic, I have found that doctors in more expensive and more privileged countries tend to spend a bit more time with patients and will actually come up with a plan in order to help them grow rather than just give them an x-ray of their wrist and just assume that they are done growing. Now, I know myself that this is all rubbish because I have had clients who have had the x-ray in the wrist and have still gone on to grow taller. So what gives? How can you have a closed growth plate in the wrist and yet still grow taller? Doesn't make any sense. The actual truth is that wrists, hands, fingers, ankles, feet and toes are usually the first bones to fuse and aren't necessarily the bones that contribute to height. In fact, what I have found out is that the bones that go towards growth, which are ones in the legs and also the spine, can actually close years after the ones in the wrists, hands and feet close, which is crazy. So the amount of people that have perhaps have given up on their grow taller dreams just because of an x-ray is probably in the thousands. So just be careful what advice you listen to. This is why I have had so many clients grow taller even after the confirmation that the growth plates in their wrists are actually closed. Take me for example, my wrists are very small. In fact, I'll measure them now. Right. Roughly about seven, seven inches, roughly. Tiny for a guy of my size. Now, I guarantee that my wrists or the growth plates in my wrists closed well before I had my second growth spurt when I was five foot eight. Let me get this straight. It doesn't matter whether the growth plates in your wrist are open or closed, as it's the growth plates in the legs and the spine that are gonna give you your desired height. Another bit of research I have come across is that high estrogen and high testosterone can actually prematurely close growth plates. This would explain and confirm what I already believe to be true, which is that doing heavy weights from a young age, let's say in your early teens, 
can actually stunt growth. Now, they have yet to find a link between doing heavy weights in early adolescence and stunting your growth. But what could happen is you prematurely close the plates before your body is ready to grow. The reason being, when you do heavy weights, you're going to release high amounts of testosterone. So if you're very young and you're releasing high testosterone, then the chances are you are going to prematurely close your growth plates. And it's the exact same thing with estrogen. If your estrogen levels are too high and you don't get them checked early on, then there could be a risk that you may accidentally close your plates when you could have taken a supplement to bring your levels back down from your doctor. Now I know people are going to say, but Lance, you always give the example of Arnold Schwarzenegger who grew to six foot two, even though he did do heavy weights in early adolescence. And what I'll say to that is, is that I think that what happened with Arnold was that when he started training and when he started doing heavy weights, his body was already ready for the growth spurt. So that's why he grew taller at the right time. However, on the flip side of the coin, he could have actually prematurely closed his growth plates and he could have been destined to actually be a lot taller than six foot two. It's one thing we will never know. So, in summary, what I will say to you is, if you do get your growth plate x-ray and your growth plates are closed, just take it with a pinch of salt because I've had so many people who have had the x-ray and gone on to grow taller that it's not worth you worrying about your growth plates closing in your wrist. And besides the fact, your wrist won't give you any additional height. It's the growth plates in your legs and also in your spine that are important. If you are worried about high testosterone or high estrogen, then go to your doctor and ask for a hormone scan or a blood test so they can analyse just exactly where your testosterone and oestrogen is. At the same time, it'll also give a good overview of all the other vitamins and minerals that you might be lacking or maybe are higher in and you can obviously use that to gauge or to balance yourself back out. Thanks again for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed this video then please like, comment and subscribe as it really helps me out as a content creator and if you do want to follow us on social media I will leave the links to the Instagram and to the Facebook in the description box below and with that we will see you next time.